we were in continued conversation, really. Um, once Sam had sort of agreed to do it, and we, we, we could sort of... I mean, we're, I mean, strangely enough, we weren't supposed to talk to each other. I mean, I can say that now, can't I? <laughs> I mean, because MGM hadn't done the deal, and we weren't supposed to be making the movie, and there were all sorts of legal <laughs> ramifications that were, meant that if we were... Anyway, whatever. We were. We did. We couldn't shut... Yeah, exactly. They couldn't shut, shut, shut us up. We were very excited about it. And uh, one of the first things we did, I mean, Sam was rereading the Ian Flemings, and it, took, it was a chance for me to reread them. And uh, um, we started... I started emailing each other and saying, what about this? What about this? And, and that's how it kind of snowballed, really. And um, John Logan and everybody got involved. That yeah, it I mean, just I added to it. The funny thing is that the MGM delay because of the, the, the issues with the, the financial issues at MGM allowed us the time to um, uh, just have to think about the story more than might have otherwise been the case and to talk about it. Um, and in that time, I think Daniel was able to articulate the areas he felt the character could go in, which is very informative for me, you know, in terms of writing the screenplays. I think it really has been a, you know, a group effort in many ways. And, and I think one of the great strengths of John, John Logan is that he's able to assimilate information from me, from Daniel, from Barbara and Michael, from Fleming, from Neil and Rob, who wrote the first script and have written other Bond movies, and put it into this one document. And he's done an amazing job of giving it a distinctive flavor and making it not feel like it's the work of a committee. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone's voice has been heard, I think. I, I enjoy doing my own stunts, but... Um... Uh, we've been shooting second unit here, uh, which means the movie uh, has been shooting without me because we've been we've been elsewhere. So uh, the thing is, it's uh, it's uh, it's make believe. So I do the uh, the bits I can do, and then the stuntman does the really dangerous stuff. It's just uh, just the way it is in movie making. And there are things that we forbid him to do that we employ stuntmen to do for specialty. Yeah, our, our insurance prohibits him from doing stuff, and. Uh, he would do a lot more if he yeah. could. <laughs> the job is to try and stop him doing the dangerous yeah, exactly. things. <laughs> we have to keep him safe. Uh, we're very, very privileged to have them. Um, they're, they're really serious actresses um, who are really stamping their mark on this film. And um, uh, it, it's been a joy working with both of them. Um, and hopefully there'll be some humor uh, in the relationships, but also some real tension as well. So. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what they've done. And in the interest of equality, Berenice working with Daniel? <laughs> uh, it's uh, extraordinary because uh, for me to be in front of him, because first of all, he extreme, he's extremely talented, but have, it has a wonderful sense of humor and, and amazing personality. So this is just, uh, that was just a. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> Naomi. Daniel? Oh, I would, I'd say the same. You know, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what more can I add to that? I can't. <laughs> we love you, Daniel. 